out and Bryce was like you know what I think it would be cute if you cut your hair and have a deep conversation and she's like you know Bryce we have to go talk to your mom we have to tell her about this pregnancy she's like Hey loves, Miss Jolly Sims here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I bring to you Rags to Riches Teen Mom. So you guys, y'all are what, y'all were, what am I saying? Y'all was supposed to get Jody. I mean, not Jody. Oh my gosh. Y'all was supposed to get I Am Nova today. But you guys, when I opened I Am Nova, it literally started like lagging. And I'm talking about like the horrible in-game lag. And it just went go away. I had to shut down my entire PC and things like that so I said that I'll just film I am Nova so I am a little bit behind but it's okay everyone's sleeping and I'm hoping that it stays that way we have we have a lot to do today so here's the thing Jody is actually going to be getting a part-time job we have to start selling our paintings we're going to invite Bryce over to talk like we have a lot to do today if you guys don't know in the last episode Jody actually moved into her new home so we are so excited about that out here is actually her mother Elise and her father Tyson so um she does not have a good relationship with either of them um oh you guys Luma is aging up yay go Luma come over here Jody. Okay, so let's just go ahead and just dive dark in. Like, this threw me completely off, honestly. But Luma is aging up, so yay. Let's see Luma. It is a rainy day, y'all, outside as well. But she's already about to do something that's about to annoy Jody. So let's go ahead and just pick her up and love on her. Okay, Luma, don't start. <laughs> But let's go ahead and pick her up and just love on her. She is so cute. Uh -huh. Go love on her, Jody. Like, yes. Okay, so we are actually going to be talking to Bryce today. Uh, what is this? Um... So yes, her and Bryce actually has the same exact hairstyle, you guys. It was a couple's decision. Right now, you guys know that they're boyfriend and girlfriend. And I completely forgot to even mention Jody's new look. So Bryce and Jody actually went out and Bryce was like, you know what? I think it would be cute if you cut your hair. And she was like, uh, cut my hair. And he was like, yes. And she was like, cut my hair like what? And he was like, you know what? Cut my hair like, cut your hair like mine. And I think that that would be a a great idea so Jody actually said yes and you know they had like a little bet going on like hey if the girl if the baby is a girl then you know you do your hair like mine if the baby is a boy I'll do my hair like yours and obviously the baby is a boy so there is that so she definitely did her hair like Bryce's and when you guys see him he kept his color but she didn't and sorry for my voice I am sick <laughs> excuse that but um we are going to go ahead and get Jody to come in here and put some food uh can she insufficient funds oh we had five thousand dollars left actually i gave it to she gave it to her parents so we'll just give jody eighty dollars she did give it to her parents because they just moved into the city as well and she was like okay i'm gonna help y'all uh so we ended up going broke helping our parents per usual they always take jody for her niceness and stuff like that so Jody is actually going to be laying it down here soon. It's 7 p.m. It's raining and things like that. And tomorrow is going to be a day, y'all. Like, she's going to be going out with Bryce and trying to figure out what it is that they need to do and things like that. And she is so nervous because we are actually going to be heading over to Bryce's mom's house and meeting his family and telling him that, well, telling them that we're pregnant and we are petrified. No, ma'am. Uh, Numa? No, ma'am. Get over here and lecture Numa. No, don't do that. You, girl, you, you finna get put out. You are about to get put outside. Do not scratch on our stuff. We need to get you a scratching post because you done lost your mind. You done lost the mind, y'all. So, anyway... 
we are we have like a busy day today because at this point like she is so nervous and at this point like we we just can't we gotta do what we gotta do we gotta tell we gotta tell him like we gotta tell them that we pregnant okay and luma needs a litter pen let's go ahead and get everything that luma needs out of the freaking way because i keep forgetting that this cat <laughs> needs stuff and at this point like we we definitely need that so we don't have much so we do have to get the cheapest of of everything so let's get her like this litter pan and it will go pretty good right here um what else does she need she needs like a little let's just get her like a little toy and we'll put her toy in here and she kind of needs a bed as well uh let's get her this one and we'll just put it over here in the room i'm pretty sure she's gonna wanna you know come in the room and sleep also jody needs the easel she needs an easel and I don't even think we had one so we're gonna have to work towards getting an easel this episode as well because at this point we don't have anything to make money for where are you Luma what is your problem what what is wrong calm down what is wrong she's like scared of everything anyway um let's go ahead and clean this Luma don't get on my nerve let's go ahead and clean this up and we'll get Jody actually smells a little bit bad so let's get her to come in here and take a bath and it's 9 15 but she's really not ready to go to sleep so we'll get her to come in here and sit and oh you know what we can actually knit we do need to knit let's knit uh what's already in progress so we'll get her to do that and hopefully we'll list these things and someone will get them because at this point we are broke and here's the cat coming in here jumping on everything so we actually need to actually work on our skills because at this point like we definitely you know we need to do something we need to do things that make money we need to do things that we're just obviously good at like we just need to do a lot because Jody is getting her mind wrapped around the fact that she's gonna be a mother she's okay with being a mom but it's like super scary and another thing why don't we have the pregnancy moodlet I am so confused hang on Okay, there we go. I was about to say, what in the world? Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. That level, I was like, wait a minute, where's Sawyer? Don't, don't do that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get Jody. Go ahead and put you on something comfortable. Like I don't, I don't see why. You know what? Do you have your own dresser? Yes. Okay, so I don't have to go through all of that. Come in here and put you on something comfortable, girlfriend. And let's get you ready and set because oh, he, she does like her little bed. She's so cute, y'all. Like that is our baby. Luma is our baby for right now. Our llama, whatever, whichever one y'all want to say. Look at Jody. She's like okay go ahead she's so cute y'all this short hair is definitely her this short blonde like I could never pull it off but I'm so glad that Jody can pull it off because she looks so good in it but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get her to finish that okay she did and let's actually what where is our uh knitting project so, so let's list this on Plopsy let's list this on Plopsy I'm kind of nervous because nothing from Plopsy ever freaking works and this is the thing that she got from Jeb. We just put it in her room and have Jody go ahead and go to sleep and we'll just turn off all lights because the cat I have the lights going on and off and I'll talk to you guys once it's in the morning all right guys so Jody actually did not give me a chance to wait until the morning time she literally was like girl I am starving and I think the cat woke her up as well so anyways let's get her to come in here and use the bathroom and maybe do we have any form of do we have any form of leftovers like anything um uh, we don't have any leftovers that's spoiled so let's just have her come in here and get a late night snack it's okay she's pregnant so she can have herself some cheese crackers and things like that because at this point like she is pregnant and it is three o'clock in the morning and those pregnancy and she needs to shave like she really needs to shave when how do we shave i think i have to have a shower i want to say so maybe okay maybe we take this tub out and put it in our inventory because we could actually get money from selling that tub and where's like the tub okay we we are definitely gonna have to sell that okay let's sell this and this and where's the tub shower combo uh let's go ahead can i get this one would that work okay i think the tub let me see would that work because she does need to shave like she is 
My, okay yes okay so after this we're gonna just let her eat and we'll shave tomorrow because she definitely wants to get herself together and put together because Bryce is going to be her and Bryce are going to be going out tomorrow because they need to go out and kind of discuss what's going to be said at the when she goes over to his mom's house and tell her that she's pregnant because we definitely want to have things rehearsed and practiced because at this point like if we go out and tell Bryce's mom that we're pregnant we just like throw it on her i'm pretty sure that's not going to end well so let's go ahead and let jody go back to sleep and then tomorrow is like well today is the biggest day okay like we definitely need to get bryce over here and rehearse like what are we gonna say and she can actually start back a streaming so we're gonna start back doing that as well so let's see what we have to do um update online okay we can do that uh but at this point also so as you guys can see y'all voted for jody to actually drop completely out of school but I had a comment that actually made me think about this so she actually has a B and she's on her way to getting an A so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to keep her in school and we're going to actually uh, allow her to like graduate early that way we can graduate early and if we want to end up going to university we can do that because if she drops out she won't be able to enroll in university so we definitely need to take that in consideration so let's go ahead and wake her up and get her ready for school after school we will let jody um do her business headshot thing and then we will go out maybe to like wing stop with bryce and then get things going in that area like we need to shave let's shave let's shave before we go okay let's shave her legs and she needs to shave her arms let's do all of that good stuff because at this point like girl you are hot mess <laughs> like she's a hot mess uh oh look at her she's all in the okay i hope she doesn't go into heat let me I keep okay she is a girl so I was like is Loma even a girl okay too much Jody giving us too much action <laughs> but yeah so we are we have a busy day today so we definitely need to make sure we get everything done that needs to be done and I will be shortening her pregnancy so I do have a episode where she actually is to go into labor so I will shorten shorten her pregnancy you know when she when it's time for her to go into labor but it's not time yet so it's gonna be a while it's gonna be a while y'all so <laughs> it's okay uh but yeah we def we definitely need to hurry up because school starts in two hours and we're actually not going to school well clean it up girl and it is freezing cold like put on the right clothes it is freezing jody uh so let's get her to put this on i don't even know what this is please be the right clothes because <laughs> i went into Kaz to like fix her outfits and i don't know okay yeah so y'all like this little outfit like yes it's oh. giving jody like oh. yes okay um <laughs> so she is actually hungry girl do you have enough time to eat um let me check so she does have time to eat okay so let's get her to actually have a breakfast and we'll get her to cook herself something pretty good like some pancakes and we will head on over to school i'm not going with her i'm gonna let her go alone hopefully she can get her grades up when she goes alone but i don't really know but let's see so we definitely need to let her go ahead and eat and then where is llama llama babes come back home come back home thank you and i know you guys are probably gonna be like girl you don't need to do that but i'm actually gonna lock the door to the point where loma cannot run off because at this point i just don't i don't we don't it's like she don't need to be out there she could get hit by a car like she could mm -mm, we ain't doing it so we're gonna actually lock door for um all pets is that is that right is that logical um and hopefully she can't leave anymore because we don't have time for our cat to be all the way out there knowing people that is just random and they think they can come in because they talking alone and like no that's not gonna work hurry up and cook your food you're gonna be late for school okay she's not gonna be able to eat her pancakes you're gonna go to school pregnant and hangry <laughs> okay so we definitely need to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch this episode so i'm kind of a little bit worried because i really want her to i don't know i want her to like 
like I want Bryce mom to like like her but okay so we're gonna go ahead and send her alone to school and we will fast forward and of course Jody please babes please you're gonna freeze to death no one has time for that like no one Hey, it's time for you to freeze to death. So please keep this on. Um, so yeah, so we're basically going to be telling Bryce mom and Bryce actually has like a sibling. So he has a sibling. He has two sisters and obviously his mother and I'm a little bit nervous for Jody because we have to not only tell his mom, but his sister is also a teenager. So she kind of heard through the grapevine that, you know, Jody's pregnant and obviously her brother, brother is uh, Jody's boyfriend. So it's kind of like, hmm. And she hasn't told her mom yet, but she did tell Bryce, like, you need to tell mom that you have a baby. And Bryce is obviously scared. So we are definitely going to be nervous. So, so when Jody gets back home, we will be telling Bryce's mother that Jody is pregnant. All right, you guys. So Jody is back home and she actually it says Jody is done with school for for the day. A, a B is not a bad grade, but there doesn't that doesn't mean that there isn't any room for improvement. Okay, and our daily credit is like kicking our butt but anyway so it is officially time let's clean the litter box and Jody actually needs some amusement so we'll go ahead actually let's go ahead and do our work because we kind of need to upgrade our business headshot so let's go ahead and do that um it is through the camera right yeah okay um let's go ahead and take a photo actually no it's not take a photo it's take a selfie right I think so all right, so it's take a selfie. So let's go ahead and no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. Come on, Jody. <laughs> like, they're going to know something is wrong with you. You're supposed to be hiding it. What is excited? Yes, please. Give me something exciting. Something cute. Uh, okay, right here. That's what I'm talking about. See, it wasn't, it wasn't so bad to smile. Let's go ahead and get, oh, she's so cute. See, go ahead and do your thing. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's not hard to smile. I know that, like, the situation isn't the best, but at the end of the day, smoke, where did you get this from? Hello? Y'all, where the crap, Jody? Um, if she do this autonomously, y'all, I'm gonna be so mad because at this point, no, ma'am. Okay, we need to hurry up and go out with Bryce because we definitely killing time. We, I'm like stalling, but she definitely needs to go out. Um, eventful day at school, and she needs amusement at this point. We care, kind of don't really care about the amusement part. Um, Let's go ahead and head to Wingstop and we'll get Bryce to meet Jody there because at this point we need to go like we we need to go. So let's go ahead and do that and we're going to be bringing Bryce along and I can't wait to show you guys. So he so at this point Jody and Bryce are both in their senior year of high school. So that's kind of what we're thinking about. They're in their senior year of high school and things are, you know, taking a turn for kind of like not the worst but you know she's pregnant and right now they have like this dilemma of Bryce wants to do every let me break y'all up some Bryce wants to do every single thing for Jody that he possibly can but Jody is so like I guess you could say she's so into herself and becoming herself that she doesn't really know what it is that she wants from Bryce. She just knows that she's having his baby and that she loves him. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Oh my gosh. I don't know why everyone, everyone keeps reacting to him and like they keep saying privacy invaded. I don't know if he has like on a... I don't know if this outfit isn't working for him, but since it's cold, let's just put him in this. Um, no, please don't go to the bathroom. Um, so let's go ahead and get what is happening. Jody is too sad. Girl, no. Come on. Now you're going to be too tense. Come on, Jody. Uh, so 
let's go ahead and get Bryce to kiss Jody and things like that. I don't understand why they're both embarrassed, but we're just going to ignore that and we're going to get that away because that that's like stupid because he hasn't waved at anyone. Okay, so we are at Wingstop, you guys, and yes, it is a true Wingstop. I will have this link down below if you guys want it. Um, I think it's by Alexis Ariel again, so... <laughs> her bills are amazing but i'm gonna go ahead and get them to just come in here and sit together and then we will definitely start discussing like what we need to do for sawyer uh they obviously love each other and let me just go ahead and give you guys like the rundown on bryce so uh i think they're so cute oh my god so like i did like i said give them both a makeover i'm trying to get him in a good angle so y'all can see him so i did give Bryce a complete makeover you guys because like I said they're in their senior year and at this point like they're definitely looking a lot older a lot more developed a lot more mature so let me know if you guys like their new looks I, I think they're cute like y'all know how in high school I know some of y'all probably I didn't do stupid stuff like this but some of y'all probably did you know y'all y'all had this boyfriend and y'all thought like matching outfits and things were like the thing to do but like y'all like Jody yeah. Jody's like I, I want my hair like yours but anyway Let's go ahead and get them to kind of like discuss. Um, let's go ahead and get them to discuss what's going on. Um, let's see. So what we will say is we'll get them to have a deep conversation. And she's like, you know, Bryce, we have to go talk to your mom. We have to tell her about this pregnancy. He's like, you're right. Definitely. We definitely need to tell her about the pregnancy. Um, but I'm just, uh, you know, obviously scared and things like that. So we're going to get him to feel <laughs> we're gonna get him to feel the baby and she's like okay um i want you to move in with me because uh, i think that it will be it? definitely be beneficial to both of us and um but in order for Bryce to move in with Jody, he has to tell his mother, like, why is he leaving? Um, but yeah, let's. And she's like, feel the baby. Like, my stomach is growing. Things are going great. And she's like, yay. Um, I'm like hating the fact that no one is showing up at Wingstop right now. But, anyways, uh, so yeah, so she's talking to him, and we're going to get them to, you know, let's get him to embrace. You know, he's just going to be like, you know, I got you we are okay things are gonna probably be awkward at this but it's okay things are gonna flow smooth the baby is coming there's nothing no one can do about it and maybe his mother would be like you know you need to have an abortion but we're not doing that so he's like the sun is just too hot okay um but yeah let's let jody does she have to use the bathroom oh her leaves are low so let's get her to come over here and use the bathroom and we're gonna head on over to bryce's mother house and y'all <sighs> let's just hope and pray that you know everything is fine actually we need some wing stuff i wish we hello service i wish we can't we can't have our service we can't um this is nice though i thought we could be able to order some rings okay but we're gonna go ahead and um she's like stalling she's like i'm just gonna girl not you knitting okay <laughs> like not her knitting in the bathroom okay guys so it is officially freaking time to head over to bryce's mom house and i'm so nervous she's like are you sure you're ready to do this he's like yeah like it's time so let's go ahead and head over to bryce's mom house so they obviously stay back in copperdale and things like that where's copperdale okay brain fart <laughs> but they stay in copperdale and they stay over here and we're gonna go ahead and head over there and tell Bryce's mom <laughs> that we're pregnant um so we're I'm so nervous for her but you know it's okay it's everything gonna work everything's gonna work out All right, you guys. So we are officially here, and here's Bryce's sister. Let's um, friendly introduce this? to um, 
Bryce's sister and I think we're gonna have to knock on the door uh before we go in she's like hi I I seen you before and she's like okay I think we could just go can we just go in okay so apparently we could just walk in okay we know we know Bryce that's why uh so let's go ahead and head in so he does have a little sister this is his mother just laying in her bed watching tv girl don't even know what's about to happen so I built this house if you guys want it I will try to get it to you guys so I finally learned how to like uh <laughs> give you guys um what is it content so I will be giving you guys that oh he's so good with his little sister that's so cute okay so she's like who is this girl uh, so we're just gonna sit in here and just kind of like watch TV we're gonna let her do exactly what she's doing which is watching TV she's so nervous and she's like oh my god I can't believe that we're gonna have to <laughs> what is Bryce doing is he broken Bryce are you okay babes um let's kind of talk to Bryce uh Let's brighten his day and be like, oh, where's your mom? Oh, there she is. Okay, so let's go ahead and friendly introduce. We, we It's time to break off the freaking band-aid and just go with it. Like, we just need to, like, she's so scared, y'all. She's, like, scared. She's, like, hi. Oh, look at the cinnamon. What cinnamon did she get? Um... Oh, she's an interesting person. Okay, great. Waga fruit. She's like talking to her. Um, uh -huh. Let's go ahead. Let's go and ask. Uh, oh, we could actually ask her. Like, is she ready? I think we no. I think that we can only do that with our girl. Be quiet for you. For you, just go out and say it. She's like hi. Okay. Um. Oh wow. Okay. Every Everything's actually going pretty well. Um, I think, okay, I think I will have to switch over to Bryce. So what I'm going to actually do is add him to our household. And then I could just get him out of our household. <laughs> but let's go ahead and move him into our household. And then we can go to Bryce. And I think he can actually tell his mother that Jody. Yes. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and do this. So we kind of need no Jody. No, ma'am. What is you doing? Get out of his sister's bed. What is wrong with you? Okay. Let's get Jody to kind of just like, you know, uh, let's get her to enthuse about knitting. Let's kind of like you know beat around the bush and then Bryce is gonna come in and say uh we have something to tell you and then he's going to kind of like just rip off the band-aid and just like tell her okay you too no, Jody please stop trying to sleep in this bed okay y'all this ain't going good let's discuss interest with this mom please go discuss interest and you come over here and talk to your mother I think Bryce is broken Oh, Alright, let me reset Bryce. I think he's broken. Okay, there we go. Come here. Come here, please. Y'all are messing up this episode. Everything is planned, y'all. And they're just like messing up. Like Jody is going back and forth to other people's Oh, she is about to fall on her face. Okay, you come over here and take a nap then. And we'll just get Bryce to do his job. Because he does need to tell his mom that you're pregnant. So there's that. But let's go ahead and get oh 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta get this full fledged. Let's turn this off. We've gotta get this full fledged. Okay. Luba. She's like, oh, oh. okay. Uh oh. Yeah, that was not a good. She was like, you know what? You are irresponsible, and this is not what you're supposed to do. Okay, what was his reaction? Uh, now they know Bryce couldn't help feeling embarrassed when telling his parent about getting a sim pregnant. Um, so he's very embarrassed. So like, what do we do? His little sister is trying to be mean to him now as well. So what do we do? Fosinoy, um, Vonti. Uh, can we just like let's go over here and like tell I don't know what to do, y'all. 
<laughs> Let's like uh kind of tell Bryce is killing me being broken. Oh, he he's getting cussed out. Okay, so we know how his mother feels about that. Like he's she's not happy. She's not happy that Bryce got her pregnant, but she's gonna go over and say, Hey, do you wanna feel the baby? And she's like, you know what? Sure. Uh, she's nice. like sure I'll feel the baby sure <laughs> and she's like how far along are you and she's like well I'm in my second trimester and things are going pretty smooth and your son is going to basically be a father uh, so yeah and it's kind of just like her mom isn't I mean his mom is very angry at him but she was also a teen mom so she kind of understood Stand, but she is very she's cussing her she's like you should not have done that so yeah she's not happy so i don't know what it is that we need to do you guys we need to figure something out so bryce is bryce told his mother so i mean that's the good part so the thing is since he did tell his mother hang on y'all let me let me get him out of our family all right so since we have told bryce's mother that we're pregnant um well he told his mom because he was a man enough to do so since he told his mom that we are pregnant but she seems to be in good spirits with her like but she's very angry i can tell you that she is not happy at all so um let's get jody to express the feelings about pregnancy and just kind of like tell her like we didn't really like it was a mistake and people make mistakes and you should not be so hard on bryce <laughs> And she's like, I'm just gonna text in your face. Okay, but let's go ahead and get Jody to head home. We did exactly what we needed to do. Um, so we told so we now we know Sean, and honestly, Sean is not mad at Jody. She's kind of mad at Bryce, and maybe it's because like she gave Bryce the talk, or maybe you know things, you know, things are just too too much for her. So at this point, we definitely need to focus on Jody and we're gonna gonna let Bryce and his family focus on themselves and then we're gonna get look at her just y'all let me just take the time out and say that Jody is absolutely beautiful like she is so pretty to me and honestly when I created her at first I knew that I wanted to go like places with her but I did not expect her to be this beautiful once I upgraded her look. Like, she's so cute. But anyway, let's go ahead and get my girl home. And we will figure out what we need to do from there. Not, girl, not you falling out. Come on now, Jody, Go home. Like, are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna be able to go home? Or is she gonna, like, con constantly fall out? <laughs> like, I don't know. And if you guys hear anything, uh, Callan decided to join us. So, <laughs> excuse him. He's just sitting here with me. And, uh, I'm just gonna film. So, Alright, so, let's go ahead and get, whoops, I don't even know what I picked up. Let's go ahead and get Jody to come in here and just head straight for the bed. Is that it? So, we're just gonna let her get a little bit of rest and then we're going to wake her up so she can eat something and kind of just like get her uh needs kind of like met because she is about to she's good she's gonna die we don't need my girl to die all right wake up jody come in here use the bathroom come in here and we were supposed to have wings but apparently the wing people wasn't there so let's go ahead and get her some chips but the takeaway is that Bryce's mother is not really technically angry, but she thinks that they should have definitely been a little bit more responsible. So everything is everything. I feel like everything is okay. I feel like it wasn't as worse it was it, as it should have been. So Jody is kind of in her feelings and we're going to let her deal with her feelings because at this point, you know, she found out that she's pregnant and Bryce, you know, he has to stay there with his mom y'all he used to stay here but he has to stay there and deal with that like we get to come at the comforts of our own home and deal with what it is that we have to deal with so yeah we are definitely going to focus on ourselves now and honestly at this point we're not going to control Bryce we may invite him over here and there but honestly everything is kind of going to be on Bryce's accord so if he wants to come over um or if Jody has a thought process about him then we will bring him you know bring him over or whatever but 
right now Jody is going to be pretty much focusing on herself at this point so let's go ahead and get Jody to bed and we'll get some of her needs met tomorrow tomorrow we're actually not gonna go to school we're gonna stay home and make some money because at this point I feel like Jody definitely needs it like we have to pay back that loan and we're not gonna do that <laughs> girl go to sleep what is you doing go to bed I hold this cat uh uh Luma look yo lecture about waking up don't do that <laughs> like don't do that don't don't get on my nerves like you we will kick you out and get a dog don't do not all right so let's go ahead and get her to go to sleep and hopefully she feels better in the morning all right so the cat is still hollering out please let's go ahead and get her to come in here not wash her hands come in here and brush her teeth and apply some face cancer go in here and use the bathroom and things like that because at this point like we we gonna start this morning off right okay like loma is excited and happy for absolutely no reason we are tired but we're not going to school either so we're gonna stay home and kind of just like focus on ourselves. and her leg hair is growing out of control she actually wants to we're gonna unlock we're gonna uh unselect that because i actually don't want her to uh and she wants to make out with bryce so we will be inviting him over like i said so if she have bubbles and she thinks about bryce we'll get him to come over and loma no ma'am stop scratching on our stuff like you can't pay for anything in here we just moved into this house and here you go uh. tell her again let's go ahead and clean the litter pan um and this morning we're actually gonna order something let's order some oh. food because at this point we are sick and tired of our food not giving us what we need oh we need to call the obstetrician we'll do that we'll do that in a minute uh let's go ahead and get jody to order a delivery and i know it's early in the morning but y'all my girl has to get her she has to get she, she's pregnant okay let's go ahead and just get her a taco bell meal and actually let's eat some let's go ahead and get them nachos we need to go ahead and get her some nachos and a family serving it's huge she's like okay taco bell i'm so excited you can why is you so uh loud cat please uh what are you doing jody okay so she's viewing something let's kind of get our house in order i feel like she definitely needs to do that um what's going on with my career i feel like we're not making enough money with this uh and she could definitely go to university you guys um i think somebody said that she could go to university but the thing is she would have to drop uh not drop out but graduate school early so hopefully we can do that let's blog about your feelings i think that that would be very you know it would be uh what is it called it would definitely be necessary right now um and no girl i said that your, your food will be here soon oh it's here who's the delivery uh never not you wear makeup okay okay give us our food and um thank you we don't have money for a tip right now so you know you're gonna have to skip out on that tip not the police hello but you're gonna have to skip out on that tip don't mind that it is what it is okay jody here's your food your food is finally here she's like uh, my look y'all she's gonna have to unlock that foodie trait because she is obsessed oh that looks good okay jody so we're gonna go ahead and get you oh and we have to ship off our stuff okay like i'm all over the place y'all i'm all i'm sorry if this it feels like it's all over the place it is because i did not plan to film rags to riches today i plan to film nova and nothing worked for me so just ex ignore that <laughs> oh look at her she's so cute let's add a frame we're do white that is cute okay jody but yeah so now she's sleepy so we're gonna get our girl do i have the power nope we're gonna go ahead and just let her sleep the day away at this point like why not uh go ahead and ship out okay stop eating this how's your hunger girl girl it feel like she been eating for a while okay go out here and do that and then i know you're sleepy but i need you to eat so you can get your hunger up because you're pregnant and we definitely don't need you you know feeling the way you're feeling girl 
Uh, but at this point, Loma, Loma, calm down. Here you go again. Calm down. Your mom's right there. She ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. So let's see. So what is coming up? Nothing exciting. We do have career day, and I think career day is gonna be the day that I want Jody to like drop out so not drop out but uh graduate early so that's what we're gonna do guys so we're gonna make it to career day i know you guys probably don't care for it but we're gonna make yeah you're talking to him too <laughs> we're gonna make it to career day y'all so I, I was gonna let her drop out but the thing is we're just not gonna go to school like we're just gonna ignore school but i'm not gonna go with her anymore uh because i feel like it's just overrated it's 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 over like it's done <laughs> for me um so what is happening like the, I, we got so many cars outside i didn't even realize it and we don't get to use none of them <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and stop her from eating come in here and go to sleep and then let's see all right let's let her go ahead and girl go to sleep okay i just had you in a bit why 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 but anyway so we're basically going to be mainly focusing on like the pregnancy for the next couple of episodes we're definitely going to be focusing on the pregnancy and trying to like get things in order for that we definitely cannot have a baby coming in with only 329 dollars bryce you was never here bryce you was never here like what is you talking about okay so apparently bryce was apparently bryce was here ignore that because he really wasn't y'all he was he wasn't here uh let's go ahead and let her get a four meter of sleep and we will come back once jody is well rested all right so she now needs to use the bathroom come over here and use the bathroom my love what's going on losing control nope what is this uh mood swing we can have the mood swing but we not losing control um let's clean the litter box and it is 7 p.m we kind of need to do let's see jody i i know you hate it my love but i'm gonna let you resume the writing project you're already angry and we can actually make some good income with this so let's go ahead and just you know what i'm gonna i don't think i can do this via like right here but no oh dang it hang on let me do this all right let's let her go ahead and finish her taco bell and it is done y'all i'm gonna have to cheat this a little bit because like she's eating and her meter was not going up i don't know if y'all seen that or not but it just wasn't going up so um let's let her actually come here and i had to go in and fix like the writing because i actually want her to like writing because like when you first start high school right and you start doing something you don't like it but jody actually discovered later on in life that she actually loves writing so we're gonna let her actually write a book and we're gonna get her to kind of go off in this career a little bit and start writing like books and stuff oh we gotta sell okay let's resume that in just a second let's go ahead and sell this because honestly like we need all the money we can possibly get and that is 86 dollars and uh yes ma'am so let's go ahead and let her go outside and sell this and then come back in here and finish at least do half of the writing portion like she's making some good money y'all and i'm proud of her so we're actually going to just focus on her writing instead of like painting and doing like that and then obviously her knitting as well so we'll let her do those things and see how those things work out for her and hopefully she sells it because we are definitely we need the money we need the money because we need to pay uh where's the thing we need to pay this back so we have to repay a twenty six thousand dollar loan um and our daily credit rate is 550 so at this point like we kind of need to get that down and i want her to get it down before sawyer is born because we definitely want to do a little bit more to his nursery um 
So this is what his nursery looks like. I honestly was going for a bear theme, but I really, I really just like, it just flowed. Like I just kind of like went off of my head and y'all liked it. So I think I did a pretty good job, but let's go ahead and get Jody to finish this writing project. She would if she wouldn't on her phone, <laughs> but let's go ahead and try to get her to finish this because she's going to fall on her face at some point. Like she's always tired. This pregnancy is killing her. Okay. So apparently she like is thinking like oh my god I don't like this right now but like we'll be going to college in the future and really realistically speaking Jody it says it says dog replies your package arrived early this is everything I wanted and more thank you you're so welcome like you're so welcome um thank you for getting our package and we definitely need to knit some more tomorrow as well so I know it's 12 o'clock in the morning, but she definitely needs to finish this so we can kind of like do what we need to do and get paid for it. Oh gosh. Oh no, 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 no. She's doing it again. <laughs> Poor Jody. She's like, I'm pregnant. I'm tired. And you want everything from me. I'm going to let this girl get a great night's rest. Okay. And we will be back once Jody is get together. Okay. Cause at this point she's not. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be working from home. Hopefully that stream is good. We need to update. Okay. Come on. We've already done this. Like give us something else. Ugh. Okay, let's get her to come in here and use the bathroom. We need to brush our teeth. And her morning routine is legit the same, like every single time. But this morning, we are actually going to be doing some writing. So she is uncomfortable. Uh, Luma is in heat. Um, you're in heat. Okay. No, ma'am. Please hush. Don't start this. Uh, Luma, I'm finna get rid of this cat, y'all, and get Jody a dog. I really like the cat, but we gonna have to get rid of the dog. We gonna I mean we're gonna have to get rid of the cat and get a dog, cause I bet I think they're just as bad. <laughs> um, so let's get Jody to come over here and sit, and then is she more comfortable? Okay, and resume writing. Let's finish this book and see if we can get some money for it, and then we'll also do a little bit of knitting here and there as well. She's like, cat, please. Okay, so she's reached level three. So that's pretty good. All right, so we're done. Um, let's see. So it says that, right, what an achievement. Jody finished writing an entire book, and the book would be added to her inventory in the future reading and enjoyment. Jody can... Um, Jody can also publish it and just click the mailbox. Okay, so apparently I don't have the, what you call it, in here, but you know, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get her to self-publish her very first book. That is awesome. It is currently raining also, and you know, it is what it is. We're going to invite Bryce over, and I kind of want them to discuss what they want to do. Uh, we'll do that in just a second. Let's get her to go ahead and complete this knitting project we're gonna do a couple and kind of like make some more money because we don't have painting y'all painting would definitely have us making our money like it would it would definitely have us making our money but uh right now Jody is kind of just like you know she's kind of in grind mode like she's like I have to have like Sawyer wants a big Christmas like in her brain she's like this is my first baby I want to spoil him spoil him Sawyer wants a big Christmas Sawyer wants this Sawyer wants that like she is she wants to be that mom that can do any and everything for her son so she definitely is going to you know focus on all of that and she definitely wants to make him a onesie too as well so we will definitely be working towards all of that go ahead and take a nap i need that power napping mod she's sick of this cat y'all maybe we should get you know what let's put long should we put llama up for it let's put llama up for adoption i'm sorry and i know y'all probably gonna be like no llama but we'll get another animal in the future but like this cat keeps aggravating jody y'all and I just can't, I just can't, I can't. Um, so let's go ahead and put Loma up for adoption and we just can't take care of her. She's, she is, it's fine. It's fine. Or should we keep her? No, we're going to get a puppy. We're going to get a dog. I think that Loma, like we can't, we can't, we're going to put the dog, we're going to put the cat up for adoption. I can't, 
go ahead we got babies to focus on like we got relationships and stuff to focus on uh like we got a lot going on y'all so at this point we really we love you loma but baby you are you too much for us like she getting agitated at the cat and everything is she getting agitated at the cat and everything like it's 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 done it's done no don't put that in your inventory no oh gosh y'all i just did a whole bunch <laughs> uh clean this litter box and we're gonna actually sell it jody what losing control uh no let's go ahead i hate it keep giving her this she's fine all right, so apparently we're getting rid of Loma, and I'm kind of slightly regretting my decision, honestly. Like, my heart is breaking right now. Oh, um, oh, no. Okay, my heart is breaking. Can I stop? Can I stop it? Can I be like, you know what, don't even worry about it? No? Okay, well sorry long we'll we'll get her another baby you guys we'll get her a dog one day probably when sawyer is like old enough for like a dog or something we'll get her we'll get him a dog and but right now loma is too much for us like jody's pregnant she doesn't have the time and the energy to spend person hello get off of our get off our stuff Go ahead and get Loma and get out. Hello? Yes, please. Don't do that. Okay, so um, today is kind of going to be filled with Jody, just like, you know, doing her thing. She wants to focus on uh, her job stuff and really not school. So we're not going to school uh, at all. So we're just going to focus on her job and things like that. So let's actually get her to come in here and knit a, another beanie because those seem to be selling really, really well for Jody. It says, uh, it says, Dr. F, your package arrived early. This is everything I wanted and more. Thank you. And we got $3 for our freaking book three freaking dollars like we spent our time with that and also we have apparently we have mail so let's go ahead and get her to finish up this knitting project y'all i can sit here and play this forever <laughs> i can play jody forever like she's so like i love her but yeah let's go ahead and I get that sorry if y'all heard that that was my phone um so the knitting project is complete let's go ahead and list this on plopsy uh and uh should we disregard what is it okay let's disregard that girl get in the house and stop taking pictures on your phone <laughs> all right and she is at this point yes go ahead and get you some coffee because if that's going to help you out with your tiredness we we can you know we need that let's go ahead and get rid of all of loma's things y'all i know y'all are gonna be like no not you done got rid of the cat but y'all let me just hear me out we are going to end up getting another animal but right now jody cannot give loma the love and care that she needs like she can't focus on a cat a pregnancy life situation so at this point i just feel like that was the best decision like we can't we can't just focus on that right now like we, we like she needed our attention and we wasn't able to give it to her like jody is like falling on her face 24 7 and she's just walking around here hollering so that was not going to be a good idea so yes we got rid of the cat i hope y'all are okay with that um uh, we will get her another animal i promise but right now that is it's not it uh go ahead and drink you some coffee even though you're not supposed to have caffeine when you're pregnant go ahead and just drink you some coffee and get your energy up because you're about to drive me crazy because i can't i can't ever do anything with her because she's just always tired y'all coffee and chicken nuggets living the dream living the dream um but yeah so at this point she also has to pee so let's get her to come up in here and use the bathroom let's get her to come in here and use the bathroom and then we're gonna get back on another book hopefully we make a little bit more next time because at this point like we needed we needed a lot more than what we had y'all like a lot more a lot more than what we made so let's get her to come in here and use the bathroom i'm gonna have to cheat her energy a little bit because we're always tired and i don't know why 
but it seems like she's the she's like the quickest sim to like constantly get tired honestly uh so let's go ahead and get her to clean up around her house as well and i didn't realize that i didn't put any a laundry room in here and i should have so you know ignore that uh maybe we should because her clothes is definitely going to be like all over the floor and whatnot but uh let's get rid of this uh what is this okay we can keep that let's go ahead and invite bryce over i kind of want him to come over because at this point she needs him and she wants to make out with him and i feel like that's okay so come over here and sit and let's write on bryce and we'll kind of ask him like how did everything go oh she's stay right by the cinema or is that a karaoke bar i don't know uh let's see where are you my love oh she's about to cry it's okay the pregnancy is making her feel like you know i shouldn't have done anything it's okay all right so bryce is actually outside let's go ahead and call him over we need to kind of tell him about loma and we'll order takeout as well and hopefully girl she's like i don't care about bryce i'm hungry come here call him over come over uh put your umbrella down please <laughs> but yeah so she's just kind of go gonna go ahead and talk to him about uh let's get her to apologize so she's gonna say i am i don't know why to keep reacting to him like that but we're gonna say i'm so sorry that things happen the way that they did and but at this point we are going to be with <gasps> She's like, we're, you know, everything is going to work out. Everything is going to get better. Uh, we have a son coming and it's time. Like we need to focus on the things that's here. Like we didn't told your mom, everything is okay at this point. Like we don't have nothing else to do. Like we didn't told your mama and that's it. I'm looking for make out. Hang on y'all. Let me, my eyes aren't working. <laughs> Those are not working. Okay, kids. Maybe that maybe that counts. She's like, uh, he's like, my mom went off on me. Okay. She went off and it was what it was. Like, of course, she's like, I'm keeping you forever. But yeah, like his mother went off and she just don't she just didn't she just didn't you know she wasn't nice to him but she was nice to she was nice to jody go ahead and embrace him if that's what you want to do my love oh they're so cute like uh, y'all honestly she kind of confuses me when it comes to bryce if y'all want the truth like she really confuses me because one minute she really wants bryce and the next minute she wants sydney and the next minute she wants everyone that's not bryce and it's so confusing so hopefully she get it together Why? go ahead and eat your little noodles so i i, don't, I just don't i don't get jody sometimes but you know what with her and bryce relationship the way it is like they are completely like they're promised they're all of that so i think with bryce a mother you know chewing him out constantly i think this is actually going to be the episode that we go ahead and let bryce move in together like i think that they can move in together and we can prepare and get things ready for sawyer together like i just think that that would be uh logical what do y'all i don't know um i could ask y'all like what do y'all think but y'all are not here i wish i was but um so he is going to be like it's gonna be a while before she gives birth oh three days that's not long at all that's gonna be next episode that is gonna be next episode you guys right wait wait second trimester okay you know what Here's what I'm going to do. So this is like behind the scenes things that, that are working right now. We're going to go into pregnancy and we're going to go other settings and we're going to say pregnancy duration. And what we're going to do, because we do actually, you know what? Never mind, because we actually will be throwing the hopefully because I don't know when she's going to go into labor. We're going to be throwing the baby shower in the next episode. So Bryce technically needs to move in this episode. I, I wasn't thinking about that.
Oh my god, that scared me. Um, please, notification. <laughs> so we will embrace him. Uh, we could just give him a resonance key, maybe. You know what? No, I think that it will. It is definitely like I think he is. Yeah, I would. I didn't even think about that. Oh, you guys. Okay. I don't know if we can do it like nicely, like, you know, through the thing because they're um they're teenagers. So I don't think that we're going to be able to like ask him to join household. So what we will end up doing is we will basically just add him to the household manually um at the end of today's episode because i think that you know they love each other and if they have a baby that's coming there's absolutely no reason for bryce to be you know away from jody and jody like bryce is jody's comfort like she's he's hit her comfort and at this point she really needs him around because he can help pick up the slack around the house and things like that and we will not marry him i don't think so i don't think so i don't think she'll he's ready for all that but let's get them to discuss their future together at this point because we kind of need to we we really need to uh go ahead and discuss y'all future together um um oh what sentiment what deeply in love okay yes see you, oh y'all was oh i'm not gonna even spoil it but baby please okay you know what oh he's going to the nursery he's like oh you guys yes come in here Oh, you ruined the moment. He came a dead slap in the nursery. He's like, oh, this is what you came up with. This is what you came up with when it came to our baby. Like, that is so sweet. You know what? Let's get her to, um, let's, let's get her to, okay, no, 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 no. You are home. Okay. Let me go ahead and actually get him to stay the night let's see if we can catch him even though he's broken his hands broken excuse that okay so he's gonna stay will this him is irresistible so okay I, we we know we know the crush is what got us here jody <laughs> but you guys so i really really oh my gosh i'm i'm I, oh my gosh okay we're gonna ask him you know like we're gonna let her smooth talking in like she's like do you love me no i'm sorry what okay uh, so that just like took a turn took a turn for the worse but isn't that like a lie let's ask again should we ask him again let's tell him you know what maybe it was like a little joke you know he was like hi don't i don't love you like what are you talking about um let's tell him we love him Get up, Jody. No one told you to go to sleep, girl. This is planned, and y'all are making this go completely wrong. Don't you leave, Bryce. Put the put the put the imaginary book down, and don't you leave. Okay, let's tell him that we love him, and see what he thinks about that. Because you, uh, uh, this is a planned episode. Come on now. Okay, he loved her too. Okay, thank you. I was like, boy, let's tilt him. Like we gonna we gonna be like, don't play with us like that. Don't don't do that. He's like, of course I love you. <laughs> okay, so let me reset him because this book is getting on my nerve. Um this imaginary book but yes like uh we know we know you love her so we're gonna go ahead and actually so it's eight um it's getting a little bit bless you <laughs> it's getting a little bit late you guys so let's get him let's get her to embrace him and you know what we'll get bryce to move in next episode or should we do it this episode i'm confused should we do it let me think should we get him to move in this episode because next episode is going to be all about like him planning the baby shower. Hmm. 
you know what let's go ahead and get bryce to move in this episode we won't get him to bring any money with him because his mom is not helping him out and he actually wants to be around jody whenever she gives birth and that's gonna be a while from now so we're well it's gonna be three days so let's go ahead and get bryce to move in with jody and we will oh my god they're gonna be moved in together so we're gonna do it this way because they are teens and i don't think we have the actual option for him to move in i think he has to like act as an adult so let's just go ahead and move him into our active household and i know it wasn't special but it was special enough and you guys yes that is what i'm talking about i love it okay ask jody about her day so now we can control bryce and bryce and jody are actually going to be staying together let's go ahead and get jody to use the bathroom and kind of like just get some things together i'm glad she sold a book and got herself together today because at this point y'all we needed to like we had only what we had zero dollars starting out so i'm glad that she got herself together and she's been sleepy this entire episode so excuse that as well but i'm gonna go ahead and get a jody to head on and head to sleep because she needs to like no is it okay so does he not sleep with her react to puberty changes oh boy you way past puberty you was way you boy you got a whole baby on the way you was way past puberty brace like that's the last thing you need to be worried about is puberty <laughs> Um, okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here i hope you guys enjoyed it i am so sorry i am nova was supposed to be coming out today but you guys like i said i literally it was it was not letting me it was not not letting me make it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys